Echoes of the 80th birthday anniversary celebration of Sir Kessin Tin Adebu Kuala Adebu II CON have continued to reverberate across the length and breadth of Nigeria with a feeling of happiness and joy pervading the entire atmosphere, especially among his family members, friends, associates, and indeed Nigerians and foreigners alike, whose lives the billionaire philanthropists without boundaries have touched positively. Yes, indeed, the 80th birthday anniversary celebration of Sir Kesinti Nadebutu is the buzzword making the rounds on the social calendar of Nigeria's entertainment circle. All the beneficiaries of the largesse of Baba Jebu have taken vantage positions to give him a well-deserved payback for his years of benevolence to them without counting the cost. Yes, indeed, the billionaire businessman Sir Kesinti Nadebutu is a benefactor to corporate entities like financial institutions, educational institutions, secondary and tertiary scattered across the country, religious institutions, trade unions and hospitals. Through the platform of the Kesintin Adebu Kuala Adebu II Foundation, KAAF, over 40 projects in the areas of healthcare delivery, education, sports, human capacity development, religion and social empowerment have been executed. These include the yet-to-be-commissioned ultra-modern multi-billion naira digital radio station equipment Sir Kesinti Nadebutu built for Lagos State University, Ojo, and Olabisi Onobanjo University, Agoiwe, Ogun State, a fully furnished high-tech maternity center at the University of Lagos, which will help take care of infant health problems and stem maternal mortality. The pupils of St. Xavier's School Railway Compound in Butemeta, Lagos, have an Olympic sized swimming pool, courtesy Sir Kessintin Adebutu. There is also the Kessintin Adebutu Accident and Emergency Center at the Babcock University of Medicine, Elisha Remo, Ogun State. In the home front of Sir Kessintin Adebutu, his presence is felt in a very ubiquitous manner with projects like an ultra modern mosque built at Ikberu Remo. Two blocks of fully furnished classrooms for Wesley Nursery Primary School, Sir Kesinti Nadebutu's alma mater. There are also an ultra modern, fully air conditioned church for Methodist Church, Nigeria, Ikberu Remo, and the renovated Remo Clubhouse, 1937. One event that added a lot of value to activities to commemorate the 80th birthday anniversary celebration of Sir Kesinti Nadebutu is KAAF Medical Outreach 2015. The Kesintin Adebu Kuala Adebu II Foundation, KAAF, which is also celebrating its 10th anniversary, took medical outreach directly to the doorstep of the people of Ikberu and its environs with free medical diagnosis and treatments. Eye tests for children, cervical cancer screening for women, and general health examination and treatment free of charge to all. On standby for three days to attend to patients from different parts of Ogun State and Nigeria were specialist consultants in the area of pediatrics for children, consultant ophthalmologists for eye diseases and general physicians to take care of all kinds of ailments, especially for adults. According to the celebrant, Sir Kesinti Nadebutu, who initiated the medical outreach program during his 79th birthday anniversary last year, he said the first edition was organized by the final year medical student of the University of Lagos, but the second edition is organized by his daughter, Dr. Mrs. Abiola Olufunke Oloride Ni Adebutu, who is a consultant with UNICEF in collaboration with Dr. Akimumi Femi Akisoya, who is a specialist consultant in internal medicine. Sir Kesinti Nadebutu said that it is only a healthy mind that can build a sound body. The objective of this team is to boost and improve the health status of Nigerians so that we can face the challenges of national development with a healthy and capable workforce that can compete both locally and globally. We are happy doing what we are doing and we continue to sustain this medical outreach 
into the future. God helping us on a monthly basis from next year. In her remarks, Dr. Mrs. Abiola Olufunke Oloride, daughter of the celebrant, said the theme of the medical outreach this year is building a healthy generation for the future of our country, Nigeria. It aims to see that the health status of Nigerians improves considerably so that we can compete favorably locally and internationally. She urged the people to take advantage of the largesse of the KAAF to sort out all their nagging health problems once and for all, at no cost to them. The major things we're going to be looking at is, first of all, our children are very important. Children are the hallmark of society. And one of the major things we notice is that if children don't have that proper nourishment at an early age, they don't do that properly and the intelligent post quota is not as well developed. We also want to make sure that we, we dewarm them. So any, because one of the major reasons they don't do it properly is that if they have some warm infestation. So we're going to dewarm them, we're going to give them vitamin A, we're going to treat them for diarrhea and we're going to treat them for malaria. Delivering his keynote address at the 2015 KAAF Medical Outreach in Ikberi Remo as one important activity to mark the 80th birthday anniversary of Sir Kesintin Adebutu, the Chief Medical Director of Olabisi Onobanjo Teaching Hospital, OOUTH Shagamu, Professor AEA Jayesimi, commended Sir Kesintin Adebutu for his foresight in complementing the efforts of the government to augment the health needs of the citizens. Professor Jai Simien joined everyone to take advantage of the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to take care of their health, especially as this comes as a special birthday present to all of them, Katsi, Sir Kesintin Adebutu. He asked all of them to spread the word. From the beginning, God had planned that there must be something called replenish, put him back to sustain. So what we are now discovering now actually had been from the beginning and it is the primary purpose of man in God's creation. In attendance at the event were traditional rulers, the wife of the celebrant, Dame Adebutu, the son, Honorable Ladi Adebutu, member of Society for Family Health and members of Ogun State Branch of the Nigerian Medical Association. The vote of thanks was given by Dr. Akiwumi Femi Akisoya. The three-day medical outreach was formally declared open by the Alakberu of Ikberu, His Royal Highness Obadeleke Idowu Basibo. The 80th birthday anniversary celebration of Sir Kesinti Nadebutu also featured the final competition of the fifth edition of the Kesinti Nadebutu Under-20 football competition which took place at the Tesli Balogun Stadium, Surulere, Lagos. The event which attracted a very rich array of personalities from different walks of life and the youth population saw the third place match before the final match which pitched Unique FC of My2 and Success Boys of Ekme. After meeting with players, the celebrant Sir Kessintin took the kickoff to set in motion a very explosive match which had to be concluded via penalty kicks after a goalless full and extra time. The success boys of Ekber came tops with 1 million naira prize money. The second place team, Unique FC, won 750,000 naira to the bargain, while Zamadek FC of Isolo, which placed third, got 500,000 naira only. The celebrant cut his birthday cake 
and delivered his remarks in which he said that he will continue sponsoring the football competition in search of talents in youth football. I get a J. J. Give me an E. E. Give me a B. B. And can we get a U? U. What does that spell? A B. Gateway International Stadium Shagamu in Ogun State also featured the 2015 Sarkesinti Nadebutu under 18 football competition. In attendance at the stadium were the Secretary to Ogun State Government, Barista Taiwo Adeolua, the Olu of Ilaro, Ashiwaju Onofoakon, some traditional rulers from Ogun State, and a huge attendance of youth. The third place match was between Shagamu and Imekwefo, and the final match featured Ikene and Yewa South FCs. The very exciting match ended in favor of Yewa South. The winning trophy and cash prize were given to those who shone in the match. For the people of Ogun State, Southwest Nigeria, and indeed, visitors from other parts of the world it will be hospitality at its very best with exceptional comfort and high-end facilities at the park inn by radisson hotel abelkuta the leading brand now trending in the realms of hospitality globally strategically located in the heart of abelkuta the gateway state which gives ample opportunity to savor the awesome scenery and breathtaking ambience of abelkuta the city pitched on the hill. The Park Inn by Radisson Hotel Abelkuta offers 173 rooms fitted with free wireless high speed internet facilities that connect you with the globe every second of the day. At Park Inn by Radisson Hotel Abelkuta, it is 24 hour front desk service, five exquisitely furnished fit for purpose halls for meetings and social engagements. Enjoy life to the fullest at the poolside of Park Inn by Radisson Hotel Abelkuta with all facilities at your beck and call and premium top-of-the-range services deserving of Nigerians and visiting tourists who should be offered the very best in hospitality. The sparkling Park Inn by Radisson Hotel Abelkuta Ogun State which should come on stream any minute now is set to redefine standards in the hospitality business in these parts if you like. The special 80th birthday anniversary blockbuster package by Sir Kesintin Adebukola Adebutu CON to humor and honor himself as a man of class, exquisite style, and unmatched taste. Above all, the Park Inn by Radisson Hotel Abelkuta Ogun State is Sir Kesintin Adebutu's special donation to humanity for the best in leisure, recreation, and premium accommodation for the discerning minds comparable to the very best by global standards. It's 80 hearty cheers to the Ashujoba of Lagos, Sir Kesintin Adebutu, a rare breed, blessed with a stunning good health and an incredible athletic figure, and above all, filled with unbelievable capacity for doing good. One who has given thousands of Nigerians life-changing opportunities. We all join the rest of the world 
in wishing Sir Kessentin Adebutu CON the best celebration ever as he joins the League of the Octogenarians. The Palace of the Monarch of Lagos and Permanent Chairman of the Lagos State Traditional Rulers Council, His Royal Highness Oba Dr. Rilwan Babatunde Aremuakiolu I, CFR, was the center of attraction on Thursday, 22nd of October 2015 for the much anticipated special capping ceremony of Sir Dr. Kesintin Adebukwala Adebutu as the Ashojoba of Lagos. In attendance at the ceremony were Lagos White Cap Chiefs and a legion of worthy chiefs of Lagos, both male and female, who turned out gorgeously in the rich paraphernalia of their chieftaincy titles, which glittered and shimmered in the horizon to demonstrate once again the excellence and rich taste associated with Lagosians. Prominent sons and daughters of Lagos State, friends and family members of the honorary Sir Kesinti Nadebutu, CON, also registered an impressive attendance at the special capping ceremony. Of course, they all stood out distinctly in the special colors with red caps and headgears they adorned. The traditional institution from the southwest region of Nigeria supported the ceremony to the hilt as a mark of honor for the new holder of the prestigious chieftaincy title of the Ashojoba of Lagos, Sir Kesinti Nadebutu, CON. His Royal Majesty Oba Dr. Sikiru Kayode Yadetono, CFR, the Awujale and paramount ruler of Ijebuland, led a very rich array of traditional rulers from Ijebuland to the event. While the Alake and paramount ruler of Egbaland, His Royal Majesty Oba Remugbadebo, was also supported by a number of monarchs from Egbaland in Ogun State. The special capping ceremony began as the honorary Sir Kesintin Adebutu CON, who appeared in an all-white special traditional attire specially customized for the event, was taken through all the germane aspects before the Oba of Lagos and other monarchs capped the ceremony with special prayers for the honorary. <laughs> There were remarks by the chairman of the ceremony, the Awujale and paramount ruler of Ijebuland, Oba Dr. Kayode Sikiru Adetana, CFR. <laughs> Why 
The acceptance speech was delivered by the new Ashojoba of Lagos, Sir Kessintin Adebutu. <laughs> Moki Bobo and White Cap Chiefs Moki Bobo and you know you go, Papa, they got that two sheets. Cabez, what fell on the gun association? Moki Bobo, 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 so, the special capping ceremony of Sir Kessintin at Debutu as the Ashojoba of Lagos came to a fitting climax with the seven-star performance by Chief Commander Ebenezer Obey that featured a long lineup of the songs in the Miliki music genre that rocked the music scene in the good old days. The new Ashojoba of Lagos, Sir Kessintin at Debutu, was joined by family members and loved ones. Friday, the 23rd of October 2015, was a very special day in the lives of Nigerians, especially the categories that could be said to be looking forward to a total change in their circumstances in life. The event was the final day for the presentation of prizes to those who were lucky in the special Premier Lotto promotion to mark the 80th birthday anniversary of Sir Kessintin Adebutu, the chairman of Premier Lotto. The prizes included 80 refrigerators, 80 television sets, 80 generators, 80 air conditioners, and 8 brand new Rio saloon cars. The promotion went on for months preceding the birthday of Sir Kessintin Adebutu. Teslim Balogun Stadium, Surulere, Lagos, was a beehive of activities with popular actors, 
actresses, comedians, and musicians synergizing efforts around their talents to put the mammoth crowd in the right mood before the main event, which was the announcement of winners and presentation of prizes to winners. The rave of the moment in Nigeria's comedy, Delta State born Akururu, as usual, gave wise cracks that held the audience spellbound. As for music, Orisha Femi led his group to light up the event as the audience sang and danced along with him. Akka, Isha, oh! 